Uh, we're testing more Bodyguard 2.0 ammunition. Right now I have Winchester 85 grain silver tip loaded up in my magazines, 10 rounds in each mag. Uh, this ammo uh, I've not seen much about. I've had negative experiences with silver tip in rimfire rounds, but I've never tried it in 380 or a centerfire caliber. Uh, just looking at the projectile, uh, the, the design is very 90s, so I expect it to terminal ballistic wise not perform great. But we're not testing terminal ballistics here, we're testing reliability and shootability. So we're going to draw the pistol from the pocket, fire some rounds, and then do strong hand, weak hand shooting, do some retention shooting, and just go from there. So we're gonna use a timer because it's fun and it's good to have metrics. And we'll start on the beep. Okay, I was favoring a little high on the target there. Uh, whoop. So I get trying to retain my magazines. Right now, this is this is a little. Ooh, ooh, that was weird. These magazines are fairly new. You can see if I if I don't fully. That was a malfunction we had in the first couple. If I don't fully give it a good tap, sometimes the, the gun's going to be slightly out of battery. Interesting. Uh, these magazines and the gun are so new that I can't get spares. So I'm trying to be a little bit more ginger with them until I can know I can get more magazines. Uh, they're, they feel like they're well made. They're the same quality as like the Shield mags and the M&P mags, but. I don't want to be ditching the only two that I got. Now for shooting there, I was kind of just dumping as quickly as I could. And we, we hit a little high. I was favoring the front side a little high there, but pretty consistent. That was in 313. So drawing the gun and dumping 10 rounds in a little over three seconds. So not bad. Um, recoil impulse felt like the XTPs or FMJs, so not bad. We did have that little hiccup where the gun, as we can see here, it, it kind of took a second to actually go into battery after racking the slide. Kind of weird, kind of weird. We're going to do some strong hand only shooting here. So, not bad. My accuracy is not great, but the gun's working. See, it's one of the things I'm not a huge fan of with these sights. The rear sight is so open that it's hard to get a precise sight picture. And I know what you're thinking. Well, Paul, this is a concealed carry gun. Do you really need a super precise sight picture? Nah, this is serviceable for the majority of people who are going to use it. I just wish that the rear sight was a little bit thinner. It wasn't quite as open. Maybe keep it the same width as the front sight because the front sight is thinner than the rear sight is. Reliability with this ammo, though, is totally fine. We're going to do some retention shooting, so the gun's going to hit the peck. I'm going to tuck it in here. Yep, we tore off the target, and the gun failed to lock open because of thumb position, but again, that's just going to be indicative of a lot of these small guns. The Glock 42 didn't really lock open very much, nor does the LCP Max in my hands. Uh, we can see an interesting thing here. I'm going to camp my camera down. Hopefully it comes up. The uh, slide release actually has an extension that locks into the slide. The release itself does not go into the slide like on a traditional larger gun. And the one thing that I... It might be an issue down the line, especially with pocket carry. Our trigger bar is kind of exposed off the side of the gun here. So as I press the trigger, we can see it sliding there. And um, yeah, that, I can see that getting clogged up with lint and causing issues. But so far, this gun's been enjoyable to shoot. I've had a couple of small hiccups, like the failure for it to chamber normally there. And then the first 10 rounds, I had a malfunction. But with small guns, you just have to expect uh, worse reliability. They require more maintenance and more lubrication. But generally speaking, they'll work for when you need them to work. So, But of course, staying on top of your maintenance and everything. But yeah, Winchester Silver Tip. Probably wouldn't recommend it for carry, but it shot fine today. So thanks for watching.